Hello plant friends and welcome to my channel. I wish I had more plants. My name is Erica and I love houseplants. That's what I do on this channel. Share my houseplant journey. Today I am going to be sharing my newest plant additions, which is basically three plants. None of them I expected to get at all. I didn't even plan, but sometimes life just happens and oh boy. Is it a roller coaster? But hopefully the one that ends well. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into today's video. First of all, you probably already noticed that there is something missing in my background. So in my previous videos, behind me right here used to stand my Calithia Magic Star and it was my most precious plant up until this moment, of course, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, I just wanted to mention that. So I still have it, it just before filming this video, like half an hour before filming, I came here to check on it and it has spider mites. It's my first ever spider mites and lately I'm having my first pests a lot. I mean, I also got my first mealybugs, which I'm going to talk about in this video. But about the Calithia and the Begonia, which was standing right next to it, I'm going to talk about in the next video. I just wanted to mention it that, yeah, a lot of my videos are pest related lately. And yeah, as soon as I decided to make a plant channel, my plants were like, ooh, pests? Yeah, let's invite all of them. Let's boogie. So yeah, anyways, that's why my background is different today. So I feel like I would like to tell a little story before I go into plants. I try to be really quick. Okay, so on Friday I was going to into the plant store to look for Monstera stendliana because I saw really really nice specimens like a few weeks ago and I did not buy it because I was there not for a plant and I was looking for something different and since then I completely regret it. So I'm going to insert a little video right now on how it looked like. Yeah, and it was like 20 euros and I'm beating myself up for it. But anyways, so on Friday, since I got my salary, I was like, yeah, let's go to the store and I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna get it because 20 euros for a plant is a lot to me and it's not just something that I go and spend just like that, like, you know, without thinking or anything. So I was like, okay, on Friday I'm gonna go because I cannot stop thinking about it, literally cannot, I kept looking in this video and my boyfriend was like, all right, let's go, I'll take you with the car. And normally when he takes me with the car, he stays in the car until I go and do my shopping because that also makes me go faster because if he comes with me, then I take my sweet time and I just go through all the plants, I look at all of them, I touch all of them, of course, because you know you have to so this friday he was like yeah i'm in a good mood you know what let's go together we're just gonna stroll around so that was already his first mistake and as i was walking around the plants looking for my monsteras i noticed a different kind of monstera some rarer monstera i don't know maybe some uh, monstera albo I'm just gonna keep it here for a while so you guys can stare at it while I talk. Um, yeah, so I saw these babies, there were three of them and uh, me being me, I had to of course touch it because I mean if you see a freaking rare Monstera in the store, like no matter where we are, you have to touch it, you have to check how much it costs, like even if you are no 100% sure you're not gonna buy it. You have to check it, right? So I checked it. And the last time, and the first time ever, I saw an Albo Monstera was when I was in Belgium. And it cost 160 euros and it was like three times smaller than this. So I checked it and it was 80 euros. So I was like, wow, that's cheap in my opinion for this size of a plant, 80 euros. I was like, that's not a lot. Anyways, still I was like, yeah, not like I'm gonna buy it, right? Like, 
I didn't even allow myself to think about having this plan, to dream about having this plan. It was not even in my wish list because how crazy it is. I mean, I'm being realistic with my wish list plans. It's not something I can just, you know, put in my wish list that I'm not gonna buy it ever or the chance to get. Yeah, anyways, so I checked the price and as I was walking about looking for my Monstera and Liliana, I just like kept looking at my boyfriend like, 80 euros? Man, that's cheap. And I don't know, like it's not like I was trying to get it or like get him to get this plan for me, but I was just like, I was literally just like shook. I don't know, like maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if 80 euros for this is a lot or normal price because in my opinion that's extra cheap. Like. I don't know, again, I might be completely wrong, but anyways, I was just like shook. So at some point, as I was sure that I did not find my plant here, my Monstera Santillana, my boyfriend stops me, he looks at me and he's like, let's make a deal. I'm gonna pay half of the plant price if for the whole next week you're not gonna get any plant related stuff at all. And I was like, are you kidding me? 40 euros? I mean, yeah, 80 still because he paid the other 40 and technically we share our money, but I was like, that's a deal I cannot freaking pass. And yeah, as you can see, I didn't. I didn't pass on that deal. It's here. I have it. I have it. I mean, I'm going to try and show it to you. Look at it. This leaf? just uncurled literally today so today is already Monday and I filmed a little bit when I got it so when I came back I straight up filmed and I'm going to insert a little clip from that right now look at it look at it look at it <laughs> this real? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I need to breathe. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. I don't think I could be happier. Is that a trip? Is that a freaking trip? <sighs> it has trips. I just found a freaking trip larva. Guess who's getting sprayed? It's this bad boy. Freaking trips, man. <laughs> it's a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, I'm gonna treat it. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna take you along. Yeah, and as you can see, I found a trip larva on it. So it's literally an emotional roller coaster because I was so freaking excited. And then I saw a larva and I was like, oh my God, it has trips. This plant has trips, which I just bought. And honestly, there were signs, there were like little yellow spots on some older leaves. And I don't know, maybe it had trips before and was treated for it because it also doesn't have one of the bottom leaves. I'm sorry. Also, when I get excited, here, there is no leaf. When I get excited, I start talking so loud, so excuse my loudness sometimes. Yeah, as I was saying, there probably were signs because also all of the roots, the aerial roots are cut off of this monstera. Look, it's so heavy, except for this one. This one's still growing. So I treated this plant with bug killer, the one that I used for killing the trips all around my house plants and I really hope it works. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on it, of course, but yeah, here is another clip on how I treated it. Okay, so I put you from up top because this baby, it's so huge, it doesn't fit otherwise. I'm going to be spraying off the leaves and wiping them off, so... Yeah, to be honest, I just found one larva on this plant and I ain't taking any risks. 
I got it yesterday, I found the larva yesterday and I'm treating it straight away because you never know, I don't know, I am so afraid on getting tripped. Normally I'd go probably in with neem oil but in my experience with trips I know that neem oil doesn't help when you already have trips, so it's great for preventing the trips. So for example, when you don't have trips, just regularly spray your plants with neem oil solution and it should prevent getting the trips, but if you already have them, then neem oil is not gonna do much for you. And yeah, that's why I'm going straight away with harsh chemicals and hope that this baby will survive and be happy in my care. So yeah, uh, I really hope that it doesn't have any pests anymore and um, I also sprayed out the ground it's in. I don't want to repot this plant straight away because I just got it so I wanted to acclimate to my house a bit and yes I know I am shaking it a lot right now but I'm gonna place it back on a spot where I don't move it after I film this so I just really wanted to have it in the shot while I talk because I mean look at it okay so I already have a planter for it I'm going to show it to you in a moment but for the next week or two I am going to be keeping it in the ground it is right now I would like to get rid of it as soon as I can but again I would like it to acclim acclimatize acclimate uh, get used to my house environment and I also staked it up not in the pot it came in but between the cash bow and the uh, nursery pot so when I will be repotting it I will be restaking it because it is leaning and I would like it not to lean and yeah it's just like oh my god you guys if you have any tips for me let me know because I've never like, again I couldn't even imagine of me owning this plant ever in my life and here I am owning it having it I just can't oh my god it's in my house Every morning I just come here and I'm like, I can't, I can't believe it, I even look at it. This leaf, it's as huge as my head, it's bigger than my head. It's bigger than my head, it's crazy. Okay, so this is the planter I got for my Monstera. It's really nice, it has texture, it's textured. And it says here that it was made in Vietnam and it is handcrafted. I really hope that's true and that it was not made in some really horrible conditions because that would be terrible, so I hope it's not. Uh, yeah, and it comes with this awesome stand, so it's quite sturdy and it's quite heavy. I wanted a heavy pot for this Monstera because I don't want it to tip over. And the nursery pot that it is in right now fits perfectly here so I really hope that after repotting it's can it can stay in the planter it is right now because yeah I'd like to keep it in here and um, I think it's gonna be stable enough and uh, it looks really nice with this plant in it so yeah Whew. okay moving on because this is not the one the only plant I got as we were going to the cashiers to pay for this baby we were passing through a discount plant cart and the first thing that I saw were orchids let me show you so I saw this baby look at that foliage I'm going to repot it I am actually waiting for some orchid bark at the moment it should arrive today and I'm going to make another video of how I'm repotting my orchids because I cannot wait anymore I really want to repot them and give them new homes because all of them are root bound and I would like to get this one out of the sphagnum moss because here's a video on when I bought it so it's from the same brand as my orchid Odorion, I think it's called. Yeah, so it's from the same brand and it was on a discount. It was like three euros when normally it's about 10 and I'm like, I'm getting it because first of all, look at the flowers. I love this color. I love it. This color is awesome. Like it's really nice. And then the foliage, again, it has these speckles. Like it's so rare for me to find these kind of a speckled leaves in an orchid. And it was on a discount and it's a tiny orchid, which are my absolute favorites. 
Wait a second. I actually didn't check the roots. I didn't take it out, but now I see something. Ooh, is that mold? Ugh, look at this, guys. What is that white stuff? It's so weird. Does somebody know? Can you tell me? It looks like mold to me. I think I will need to repot this. It's like not in the best condition it could be. But anyways, it was three euros. So yeah, I took it. It has these awesome leaves and if I can save it... Awesome? So yeah, I think it is mold and I would like to just get it out of that soil. I think it's sphagnum moss and I'm going to repot it and give it fresh soil and this one also smells nice which is so weird for me but yeah it has a really really nice scented smell and um, it's a tiny orchid. I love small orchids like I love mini orchids I don't know it's like every time I see one I cannot pass and I just have to look at them and control myself to not to buy them. So I got it and this one doesn't seem to have any pests thank goodness and yeah I'm gonna keep you along when I'm going to be repotting it. And the third plant is actually this beautiful Hoya. And I think it is a Hoya pubicalix. Let me know in the comments if I am correct or wrong because I'm not a Hoya expert, I've never was. And this is my first ever Hoya and I paid one euro for it. Let me show you. When I saw it, I couldn't believe my eyes. Of course I grabbed it. Yeah, one euro. So, of course, I just grabbed it and I was like, yeah, I don't care, I'm taking this plant home. And it had crushed leaves, it had a lot of dry stems. I'm going to insert the video on how I found it here. Okay, so I have this Hoya. First off, it has a trellis here. And again, it was one euro. So a lot of these are dried up and dead. Um, I'm gonna, of course, try to cut it, I guess, because, oh my god, I touched it. Ew, 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 it has mealybugs. It's my first ever mealybug plant. Oh boy. So that's how they look like. Uh, oh boy. So probably that's why it was on a discount as well. Anyways, I'm going to rescue it. I already did, so I'm going to treat it from the pests. Then I'm going to repot it and I will keep you guys updated on all of it. Honestly, I didn't check it at the store at all. I just grabbed it because I saw it was one euro and I was already leaving and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna save it. So yeah, it had mealy bugs. I think that's why it was on a discount, but I also think that it had trips at some point because it has a little bit of trip damage. I don't know if you can see in the leaves actually, maybe front of the sun they have like these yellow spottings and a bit of like those trails that trips leave so I treated it for mealybugs which were my first ever mealybugs and here's how I did that so first things first I saw that there is a slug coming out from the bottom of this plant so I would like to get rid of that first ew nasty so there's quite a lot of roots i can see and i don't want to move this too much because i'm so afraid of the bugs falling literally everywhere on me i am terrified okay so what i want to do first is cut off all the dead branches because there's a lot of dry tops here and remove all the damaged leaves that i'm not going to be keeping and from there i'm going to be moving on to cleaning this plant and yeah hopefully saving it yeah, so dry tops like this. I'm going to be removing this leaf. It's so pretty, but it's also damaged and I don't want to keep it. I want to clean this plant up as much as possible because I can also see a lot of new growth coming out from different points of this plant. Oh my god, this mealy bug is so thick. I'm gonna take a picture and put it right here. I'm gonna put the top of my tweezer there too. Ugh, nasty. This is what we are left with. I cut off all of the damaged leaves, all the dry tips and ends, all the bugs. I cleaned off all of the leaves with the bug killer. If there's gonna be any spray left after I'm gonna done cleaning my Monstera, then I will just mist it all up with it and um, 
leave it to do its job, but I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be pretty, okay? I took it out of the pot as well to check out the roots and they seem to be fine. I also sprayed out the top of, uh, of the soil with the neem oil. I mixed up 10 parts neem oil, 10 parts dish soap and 80 parts of water and I mixed everything up. I sprayed out the soil and... <sighs> so yeah! For now, I don't see any more mealybugs coming up. I'm checking it every single day and if I will find some, I will treat it again. I'm again quarantining this plant away from the others and I hope it's gonna survive. It looks happy. It has these two extra splashy leaves. Oh, here you go, maybe. Yeah, look at that splash. And that's the second one. Nice, eh? So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching me, or <laughs> for watching my plants, should I say? Uh, yes, it did poke me in the eye right now. Um, anyways, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel because it means a lot to me and I really enjoy making these videos. Let me know what you think about my plants. Let me know if you have any tips for this beautiful, beautiful baby. I still like, oh my God, like, I'm in love. So yeah, let's chat in the comments and uh, maybe like this video too if you liked it. Thank you so much one more time and if you want to see me treat more pests and repot more plants, yeah, stay tuned and uh, I promise I will come back to you. I think I'm good with plants for a while but you know, just the fact that I cannot buy any plants this week makes me kind of wish that I had more plants. See you next time.